The initial sketch really takes me only a few minutes to get everything on the paper and everything in the right place. Since you guys have seen me draw eyes and the skin around them a million times, I'm going to focus on other areas that I haven't emphasized or uh, demonstrated really how to get those skin texture effects. You want to alternate between your blending stump, your tissue, and your pencil to achieve these skin texture effects. But there are different ways to handle these tools, which is what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. When you're just getting started on a portrait, you're not really heavily focused on nailing the texture just yet. You're really just trying to get all of the information on the paper. As you develop the features more in layers, texture naturally starts to emerge as you're seeing here. You want to alternate between your blending stump, your charcoal pencil, and whatever other tools you're using. A tip for achieving skin texture, your blending stump and your tissue are great for spreading the graphite or charcoal pencil. Your pencil, or whatever pencil you are using, I'm using the ebony black pencils. And this pencil creates beautiful texture. Now, my tissue will smooth that texture out. But as you can see, I'm layering with the pencil. And with the charcoal pencil and making sure that I use my tools to create that texture. Just like you're seeing me do here with the blending stump around her cheekbone and eraser stick to highlight certain areas that are a bit glossier and smoother. How you hold your pencil too will determine how the graphite looks on the paper and the combination of tools that you use one after another, how you layer them, will also make a difference with texture. For the neck, I'm going in with my pencil and again layering, layering, layering until I get the correct value scale, going back in and adding some more detail. This is the hardest part about realism, knowing what exactly to bring out and emphasize in your drawing and making sure that you do so with as much accuracy as you can get. This area here where the hand lies upon the head and the side of the baby's face I think is just so beautiful, just a beautiful detail and a interesting juxtaposition of skin textures with the hand and the side of the baby's head. Baby's skin is very smooth, very soft, has a very silky-like texture. A baby's features are very different, obviously, than an adult's features. To start, you really want to focus on getting down the value scale, the shadows, and the highlights, because that's going to help you get a realistic depiction of the baby's skin and the shapes and forms that emerge within the features and around them as well that create that structure. Once I have the darkest values nailed down, I then go in with my pencil and create a light value scale just to give myself an idea of exactly how dark I want to go throughout the overall drawing. And I gradually build up those layers with my pencil and charcoal pencil and different tools to create that smooth skin texture. Another tip worth noting, while you draw, make sure the way you are drawing, you are mindful of. How you apply the graphite onto the paper, the direction in which you are moving the graphite along the paper to create these effects. And also with your eraser stick too, the same thing with all of your tools. How you use them makes all the difference.
When incorporating highlights, you don't want to draw over the highlight with graphite and lose that contrast. What I do is I go in with my eraser stick and then follow with my blending stump just to smooth the edges. Your kneaded eraser is a great tool for creating texture like you're seeing me do here. Simply just dab the eraser in areas where you want a little bit more texture and highlights and a little more definition. 